If you're trying to use Apple Fitness Plus on your Apple TV, but you keep getting a message that says pairing canceled on your screen when you try to connect to your Apple Watch, you're in the right place. It seems like the number of steps to fix this is going to vary based on your model of Apple Watch, Apple TV, and how much setup you've done in the past. I think I ran into the most possible errors along the way, and I got things up and running, so I'm going to cover all of the troubleshooting steps from least to most disruptive. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through the troubleshooting steps to get the fitness app working on your Apple TV like you'd expect it to. First things first, make sure that you've downloaded and installed the latest updates available for your Apple Watch, your Apple TV, and your iPhone. The fitness app is included in these updates, so you'll have to download them before you can get started. So if you've already done that and you're still seeing the pairing canceled message, let's move on to the next step. Next, go to settings on your Apple TV and see if you have a red number one next to AirPlay and HomeKit. If you do, select it and then hit finish home setup. Follow the instructions on the screen. When you bring your iPad or iPhone close to your Apple TV, you'll see a little setup pop up that looks like this. After that, you'll select a room for your Apple TV on your TV. If you've gotten this far, great. Open up the fitness app on your Apple TV and see if that works. If things are working, after you select yourself, you'll see a verification code pop up on the screen, you'll type it into the watch, and you'll be good to go. But if you see a setup failed message on your device, or you keep seeing that pairing canceled message on the fitness app, we'll keep going. If you see a setup failed message on your device, try doing a hard reset of your Apple TV by holding down the menu and TV buttons on your Apple TV remote. Your Apple TV will turn itself off and then on again, and then try going to settings and doing the finish home setup again. If it works, go to the fitness app and try it again. If you still can't complete setup, unplug your Apple TV, plug it in again, go to settings and try and do finish home setup again. And then try the fitness app and see if that works. By this point, even if you're still seeing that pairing canceled message on the fitness app, your home setup should be complete. But if your home setup isn't complete and you're still seeing that pairing canceled message, open up the home app on your iPhone or iPad. It looks like an orange house. And if you see a screen that says iCloud required on your device, hit enable iCloud to turn on iCloud for home. Select your Apple TV and see if there's a screen that pops up that says add yourself to Apple TV. If it does, add yourself. Some people might have already done this in the past, so this step might not be relevant to you, but I had to do this and it was part of my journey. After doing this, you guessed it, try the fitness app again. If you're still chugging along with pairing canceled messages, go into your Apple TV settings, select AirPlay and HomeKit, and try to change the name of the room that your Apple TV is in. Now you know what to do, open the fitness app and try again. So by now you have the latest software updates on your Apple TV, your Apple Watch, and your iPhone. By some miracle, you've completed home setup on your Apple TV. If you hadn't already, you also added yourself to your Apple TV on your home app. You also might have changed the name of the room that your Apple TV is in. If you opened the fitness app on your Apple TV, selected yourself, saw a verification code, and typed it into your watch, you did it, you're good to go. Let's say you open the fitness app and it's still showing that pairing canceled message. If you're still troubleshooting, I'm sorry to say it's time to bring out the big guns. This really sucks, but you're going to have to reset and repair your Apple Watch. I have an Apple Watch Series 3, and I bet this happens more with the older watches compared to the newer ones. I know this takes a long time, but it's the last thing that I had to do, and I bet it will be the last thing that you'll have to do. To reset your Apple Watch, you'll open the Watch app on your iPhone. In the My Watch section, you'll go to General, Reset, Erase Apple Watch Content and Settings. And yes, it's annoying, but you'll have to repair your Apple Watch and iPhone after it's done erasing everything. At least for me, I had a backup stored, so while it took about 30 minutes, everything was back up and running exactly how I had left it. Now, try to open the fitness app on your Apple TV again. If you've done all of the previous steps, you should see a four-digit verification code on your screen. You'll type it into your watch and you'll be good to go. What a freaking journey. So I hope you didn't have to do all those steps like I did, but if you've made it this far, I hope that your fitness app on your Apple TV is working like you expected it to. If this video helped you get set up, please give it a thumbs up or share it with a friend who's also going crazy trying to make this work on their Apple TV. Thanks so much for watching and happy gymming.